From the most gruesome innkeeping family of all time to the horror of brothers on a killing spree. Here are five of the most notorious serial killer families. Number 1. The Bloody Benders Believed to be one of America's first ever serial killer families, the Bloody Benders consisted of four German immigrants who were followers of the spiritualism movement. They owned an inn in an isolated town in Kansas called Labette County and used their business to commit gruesome murders. Guests dining in the inn were allegedly invited to sit upon a chair, which had its back facing a shroud of curtains. The male members of the Bender family would hide behind the curtain and then smash the skull of the seated guest with a hammer. Beneath the chair was a trap door where the bodies of the guests would be dropped through. The Bender family would then slit the throats of the guests to ensure their deaths, bury their bodies in the inn's compounds, and steal their money and property. In 1873, suspicions were beginning to rise regarding multiple missing persons who had stopped by the Benders Inn and hadn't made it to their final destinations. A search party was organized and they found the Benders' cabin to be abandoned, with plenty of evidence left behind to serve as proof of the Benders' cruel deeds. What became of the Bloody Benders remains mostly a mystery. Letters from police chiefs reveal that a vigilance committee had been formed to hunt them down and may have succeeded, but there is no evidence to show that this is true. Number 2. The Briley Brothers Brothers Linwood, James, and Anthony Briley wreaked havoc in Richmond, Virginia in the late 1970s. Linwood, the eldest, committed his first crime at the age of 16 when he shot an elderly neighbor who was unfortunate enough to be near his open window. He served only one year for the crime. Fifteen years later, the brothers and a fourth accomplice claimed ten lives over seven months in a killing spree that had the citizens of Richmond living in terror. They robbed, raped, and murdered in brutal and merciless ways, which included crushing a teenager's skull with a cinder block, and even killing a pregnant woman and her five-year-old son. After being captured, Linwood and James Briley led a group of six inmates on death row on a daring escape from prison, but their freedom was short-lived. The two brothers were caught again quickly and sentenced to death by electric chair. Number 3 the De Jesus Gonzalez family. Sisters Delfina and Maria De Jesus Gonzalez hold the Guinness World Record for most prolific murder partnership. While not included in the record, their two other sisters, Carmen and Maria Luisa, are also said to have been involved in some of the estimated 91 murders committed. Delfina and Maria ran a brothel that operated by kidnapping young women and girls through help-wanted advertisements and forcing them into prostitution. Delfina's son was also involved in the brothel, with his task being to ensure the girls stayed in line. Often, the abducted girls would be force-fed drugs. Any girls who became ill, injured, or unattractive would be murdered brutally, either by being starved to death or beaten to death by the other girls. If a prostitute became pregnant, she would suffer a forced abortion, and the fetus would be dumped in the backyard. The sisters also murdered rich customers in order to rob them of their money. The sisters were brought to justice after a prostitute escaped successfully in January 1964. Authorities raided the brothel and discovered the bodies of 80 women, 11 men, and numerous fetuses. Delfina, Maria Luisa, and Maria were sentenced to 40 years in prison. Delfina and Maria Luisa died in jail, but Maria was freed and eventually died of old age. Number 4. The Manson Family While not biologically related, Charles Manson and his loyal following, conventionally dubbed The Family, are close-knit enough to classify. Manson spent half of the first 32 years of his life in jail for numerous different crimes and was a frequent user of hallucinogenic drugs. Manson garnered a group of followers who shared his lifestyle and religious interests, especially in the concept of Armageddon, and was able to control them and lead them to believe he was Jesus. The family, as they were called, were more than 100 in number and lived together, leading unconventional lifestyles. 
On August 9, 1969, the Manson family committed a series of brutal Hollywood murders as instructed by Manson himself. Among the victims was pregnant actress Sharon Tate, who was stabbed in the stomach, her blood then used to write the word pig on the door. Another victim, Abigail Folger, was stabbed 28 times. The following night, a wealthy supermarket executive and his wife were murdered in similarly grotesque fashions. The family members involved in the murders were eventually arrested on suspicion of vandalism, but revealed facts that placed them at the Hollywood murders while in custody. Charles Manson himself remains in prison on a life sentence till this day. Number 5. Inessa Tarverdieva and her family Serial killer families are not just a thing of the past. This modern Russian family consisted of kindergarten teacher Inessa Tarverdieva and her second husband, dentist Roman Podkopeyev, and her two daughters, one of whom was 13 years old at the time. They were responsible for at least 30 deaths over the span of six years before they were caught in 2013. The family disguised their killing spree absences as camping trips and claimed to only kill out of the need for money. The family murdered and tortured numerous victims, including police officers, women, and children. Their most gruesome murders include that of an 11-year-old girl stabbed 37 times and the torture of two teenage girls found with their eyes gouged out. The family were captured in a shootout with police which killed Roman and gravely injured Inessa. Their home was found stocked with an arsenal of weapons that they used in their killing sprees. In a famous interview, Inessa demonstrated to police how she murdered several victims. She displayed no emotion or remorse and claimed to be a bandit at heart. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe.